Hey everyone, it's me, the Otaku Fan Girl, here to review episode 4 of Orange. So, Kakadu and Uda Senpai are now broken up. Or they should, well, I mean, they're not officially broken up now, but they're pretty much broken up after that little outburst she had. And man, that girl, that is the type of girlfriend I feel like guys do not like at all. She's clingy. She's like, oh, you're not allowed to talk to any other girl but me. And I'm just like, I would never be that way. If I had a boyfriend, I'd be like, no, you can, whatever, it doesn't matter to me. And just, uh, I don't like her. And I hope she never appears again because I don't like her at all. But anyway, oh, man. <laughs> uh, gosh. So, Kakadu's interested in somebody. Man, take a wild guess who that'd be. No! <laughs> I mean, at least I'm like 99.9% .9 sure it's Naho. It's got to be Naho, I mean. Yeah. <laughs> but in this episode, well, Naho kept avoiding uh, Kakadu because she was like, oh, senpai, they're dating. Uh, she stopped making lunch for him and all this stuff. And I'm just like, Naho, you need to talk to the boy. Otherwise, bad stuff's gonna happen. And actually, it was quite interesting that Sua was the one that um, pushed her to go talk to Kakadu and get their relationship back on track. And because we know in the future that Sua and uh, Naho are married, so I feel like the Sua of this timeline or whatever uh, likes Naho, but he realizes he can't be with her because of because he realizes that Naho loves Kakadu. So yeah. I, I think that's the deal there. Um, man, though, just Kakadu's like, that's a secret. And I'm like, gosh dang it, dude. Just tell her how you feel. I mean, I guess he has to, like, break up with, uh, officially break up with um, Senpai there. But after that, just Kakadu, just, just do it. Just tell her how you feel. Like, ugh. Just my mind is like, please, just do it. <sighs> Or Naho could be the one to do it. Oh gosh. But now it looks like we're on the right track with this um this saving Kakadu thing now that she's started to talk to him again. Uh, and there's no way he forgot what he was gonna say. He's like, oh I forgot what I was gonna say the other day. I'm like, Psh, right. I'm sure it was super important. It was probably the thing about yeah, never mind. It was probably uh the whole I'm gonna break up with Senpai thing. But yeah. Uh, I hope we never see that girl again, because I do not like her. Also, uh, Naho's friends, um, I don't remember their names, but uh, they noticed that Naho's hiding something from them, and I guess that's the whole, like, letter thing. I don't know. I mean, it's not really a big secret that she's getting letters from her future self. I mean, I didn't that, that feel like it'd be too big of a secret, per se, but, you know whatever it's like she walks up to them and she's like hey guys i get letters from my future self and tells me everything that's gonna happen and they're like what <laughs> uh uh that'd be kind of funny if that happened but yeah all right so we're on the right track oh boy what's what's gonna happen next i i'm still worried for kakadu even though she's doing the right thing i just feel like something might mess it up i don't know but hopefully from here on out we get, you know, I need some romantic moments between Kakadu and Naho, okay? I need that. I need it badly. <laughs> oh boy, I need that badly. So that's all I got to say about this episode of Orange. Manga readers, just tell me, is it following the manga still? Um, is it being rushed at all? It doesn't feel like it's being rushed to me. But how's it doing with the, you know, following the manga thing? Um... Yeah, so that's all I got to say, so I'll see you guys in my ReZero review later. See you then. Bye!